No soup for you. Seattle Chocolate Shop fires staff member for refusing to serve two police officers. Welcome to the Dumb Dumb News Channel, I'm your host Dumb Dumb, before we get started, I want to say thank you to all the fans, the channel is growing slowly, and I am enjoying all the comments. This channel is dedicated to exposing the truth by sharing a side to stories that mainstream media and big tech won't show you. Help me trigger the YouTube algorithm by giving a like and sharing with someone you care about. Sources will be linked in the description so you can read the full details yourself. Today's story is about a Seattle coffee shop, Chocolati, that recently fired an employee because the employee refused to serve two police officers. Lately, there has been a big push by mass media, the left, and hate pushers to turn police officers into villains. I understand that not all cops are good, there are some bad apples, and there should be change and accountability in these cases. I also believe that not all police are horrible, and they are just doing a job they have been trained to do. The article further says, a Seattle chocolate shop employee was fired after she refused to serve two police officers last week. Chocolati said, we have recently become aware of an incident that occurred with a team member and an officer of the Seattle Police Department who was refused service. Although we do respect this team member's freedom of speech, the actions in this instance do not represent our views as a company. We are actively working directly with this team member and the local precinct to create a more inviting, inclusive and cohesive community for all. The employee left after Chocolati Cafe owner Christian Wong decided it was in the best interests of both parties to part ways with the team member. She had refused to serve the officer, who was accompanied by a trainee, at the shop on North 45th Street, telling the pair no, I won't serve you. President of the Seattle Police Officers Guild Mike Solon said the pair were met with a bit of hostility. But based upon the amount of pushback that company has received from the public and across the nation is that people are still really supportive of the police. The employee was described as a white female with green streaks in her hair. Now, let's read the response from the owners about this incident. Dear friends and neighbors, I'm a Seattle native, born and raised, and I love our city. For so many of us, this has been a rough year. To put it mildly, being a small business owner during this pandemic has been challenging. Like so many small businesses across Seattle and our country, we have struggled to keep our employees and to keep our doors open. Through this difficult year, we have worked to stay true to our values, that we treat everyone with compassion and empathy, and that we do not discriminate against customers based on our personal beliefs. So I was shocked and disappointed to learn that one of our employees had refused to serve a Seattle Police Department officer at one of our cafes. We work to advance diversity and inclusion at our business and for our team members to follow their passions and to be engaged in the critical issues we face as a city and a nation. However, our team members cannot decide which customers to serve based on their own personal political beliefs. This simply is not an acceptable practice at our business. That is why as soon as I learned of this incident, we worked to understand the facts of what took place, and we spoke directly with the team member involved. We also spoke with the sergeant of our local SPD precinct. After fully understanding the facts of this incident, we came to the mutual conclusion that it was in the best interest of both parties to part ways with the team member involved in this incident. We also continue to communicate with our employees about our values and how we serve our customers to ensure an incident like this does not happen again. We will do better. I look forward to meeting on Sunday with the SPD officer involved in this incident to personally apologize just as I would apologize to any customer who was refused service on the basis of an employee's personal views. Our hope is that this unfortunate incident can serve to help help show that communication, empathy and education are the ways we can find common ground as a community in this city we all love. Finally, I want to thank all our customers and neighbors who have come out to show their support for our small business. Sincerely, Christian Wong, owner of Chocolati. My final thoughts are that I'm glad to see that this business owner wants to create an inclusive community and they fired this worker. As an employee you are hired to do a specific task. If you can't perform that task for personal reasons and beliefs, then you should find another place to work. Imagine if firefighters didn't want to service your house because they didn't like what you did for a living. Those are my opinions, what are yours, leave them in the comments below. Please share this video for education and awareness. For the Dumb Dumb News Channel, I'm Dumb Dumb.